the year is 2022 and we still can't get polling right in old school runescape i mean we've done this for what almost 10 years now and we still ask the same goddamn stupid questions that have no impact on the game like we did five years ago I i'm genuinely mad right now at the things about the bad old school runescape is taken i don't even know why i am mad exactly but why does it feel that every year we step on the same goddamn rake again and we do the same goddamn mistakes again I got really upset at the results of yesterday's poll and I know I shouldn't be upset because again it doesn't matter but I think old school runescape polling is like a great example of why you shouldn't give power to the people because people are how do I say this without offending some of you really freaking dumb like we're talking walnut dumb I bet some of you need a spoon to eat your dinner that's how dumb you are and honestly this doesn't exclude me from the list I'm not levitating above the rest of you here I am dumb as well I mean I played runescape for 17 years no smart human being would go through that mental terror and JX doesn't make it easier either with how they write down their questions in balls or what they ask both which are extremely important so I just want to rant for some time, I don't know how long, just I guess when I get tired of this and have nothing else to say. Probably gonna be a long video, just roll up your game, do some AFK tasks and hear me talk for a little bit. I promise it's gonna be good. I want to rant about how stupid I think the direction of old school runescape is taken. Now first and foremost, if you disagree with me, good, please, please do, and write in the comments your opinion, let's try to have a healthy discussion, even though these things are rare in old school runescape community, I still wanna do it, please let me know your thoughts and I'll try not to let my fragile ego get in the way. GIGX wants to reintroduce a new minigame called Quest Speedrunning, I I'm already lost, I'm already lost. why are we still making updates for 500 people, can someone explain that to me, like don't get me wrong, I love speedrunning, I watch it constantly on Twitch, Games Done Quick is one of my best things that ever came out of gaming community, it's amazing and I'm absolutely gonna try this out myself at one point or another, but it's such a small community, I guarantee you like 1% of old school runescape players actually enjoy speedrunning. Why are we putting so much time and effort into pleasing the 1%? What is the end goal here? Same with fresh server worlds, we release content that ties out a few weeks after release, same with PvP arena, new content that you guessed it died out after a few weeks. I mean look at these servers, these were recorded right now, there are a total of 170 players doing PvP arena right now. 170, you wanna see how many people are online right now? Over 40,000. 0.3% of all players online play this new content and you wanna guess how much time it took JX to put out PvP Arena? 6 months. 6 months so that 0.3% of players could enjoy the content. And just in case, I'm gonna say it again, it's not a bad content, in fact I loved PvP Arena so much that even though I'm not a PKer, I even made a video about it saying I thoroughly enjoyed it, but it's just not mainstream content. People don't care about this. And I feel like we're gonna go the exact same route with quest speedrunning, where even though the content is gonna be a banger, people just don't care. And we're gonna have like less than 1% dedicated player base and 3 months of developer time wasted for one update. Don't get me wrong, I would love this idea. If the year was 2010 and we had big updates coming out every single week, but we get like 5 big updates a year now. Why are we wasting it on this when there is so much that needs to be fixing in this game or so many new ideas that could be added? We have outdated skills that used to work 15 years ago but now don't have any use. We have over 10 mini games that desperately need updates to bring them back to life or at least add more rewards. We have bosses like Next that have really clunky mechanics and make it a not enjoyable experience that could really benefit from few quality of life changes. These are just few things that actually matter. And if reworks aren't your thing, Jags, there are so many new updates that could benefit more than 1% of player base. Look at this, 2010 August, August 3rd, game update, August 4th, game update, August 10th, game update, August 19th, game update, August 20th, August 23th, August 27th, game update. That is 7 either big or small game changes in one month. Now let's look at old school runescape. What did we get in May 2022? We got um the 7 group Iron Man update this year and some quality of life changes. 
uh, that was it. That, that was it. That was the entire month. No game updates, just some small changes to the existing game. Now, yes, I am cherry picking, you could say, Gribbles. Of course, we're not gonna get big updates before the biggest update of the year comes out in the next three months called Raids 3. Yes, that is exactly my point. We didn't get anything new for three months because Jagex was working on one big update and the update was an absolute banger it worked that's good it brought new players everybody in the game who can try it out are trying it out and that's the point right we want as many people to enjoy the content as possible whether you're a new player reaching for it or existing player who can already jump in how many people do you think are gonna enjoy this speed running thing I'm, I, I am gonna try it out i'm definitely gonna try it out because i am a content creator and i genuinely try to enjoy 100 percent of updates no matter what it is Maybe I'll get a friend to try it out with me, maybe, but it's not meant for the main audience of the game. Most players just don't care for this. These fresh servers you're bringing, quest speedrunning, it seems like Jagex is trying to find diamonds under the couch pillows. They're reaching for an audience that doesn't exist or is so minuscule and so small that has no impact on the game in long term. Not to mention, isn't the entire purpose of speedrunning that you do it in offline environment? So you have zero ping and it doesn't affect your ability to get the best results. Look at our servers! Are we just gonna shake hands with each other and say, yes boys, we're gonna do speedrun 6 in the morning when the servers are most stable and the lag is only 0.6 seconds instead of 2 seconds we get during main hours. Is that what we're gonna do? Things that need to be fixed in the game aren't and things that nobody asked for are coming. It seems like completely wrong direction here. God, this game has so much potential. It has so much potential. Why am I even getting frustrated? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, I, I'm gonna go make some coffee and eat chocolate. Be right back. Funny thing is, that's not even what I wanted to talk about in this video, but I got carried away. I guess that's how it goes with this angry, moaning, and whining rant video sometimes. Hashtag sorry not sorry okay so let's talk about the thing i wanted to talk about stupid balls i want to show you guys this do you guys want the total level box to be slightly moved to the left please vote yes or no who cares who cares nobody that's who nobody cares about this why are we bowling these things why it is so pointless the bowling system is good but the way you could use it could be so much more effective we don't need a ball on every single question that has no impact on the bigger picture should we reduce the quantity and weighing for sourhawk slayer tasks explained in the blog from 35 to 55 minimum maximum quantity and 8 weighing to 15 and 25 minimum maximum quantity and 6 what the hell huh who cares? Nobody. Why? Just add it in. I swear, if some of you get busy about your big task being longer, you're not meant for this game. I, I can't, I can't, man. It's just so stupid. And it just keeps going and going and going. Should we add a right-click option to the estate agent to allow players to quickly move or redecorate their homes? 7% of the players will like, no, we don't want the right-click option. We want to go through the entire dialogue and make longer conversations with the NBC. I guarantee you some of them didn't even read the question and just zoned out and voted no. Should we allow the spacebar to remember the last item you created? Pressing the space bar will repeat the action. Should we add deposit quantity buttons to the bank's deposit screen on the desktop screen? You know what I mean? It's like there are just so many more out there exactly like this. But this video will be like 15 minutes long if I showcased each one. You get my point. You get my point. Why are we bowling these things? Just add them in. It helps the game. That's the entire point. And so we get to yesterday's poll, and I see the same question again. Should we add three more collection log slots to the already existing 1430 slots? And maybe it's me again, but I don't understand this. It doesn't affect literally anyone. Because even when you're a diehard collection log enthusiast, nobody is ever gonna complete that. It takes on average like 60 years to complete the collection log. Adding two days worth of content into it is somehow a deal breaker now. 
There is already so many silly items in the collection log that would have never passed the balls nowadays, but when Jagex first made the collection log, all of those silly things were added in. Why now suddenly we start to care about what goes into the log and what doesn't? Are the three extra slots game breaking for you? It doesn't ever affect your gameplay. It doesn't affect how you enjoy the game. It doesn't give any benefits to the people who complete the log. It makes no sense. You wouldn't just add it in. What a stupid question to ask in the first place. Now yes, the counter argument could be that it's different game mode, so it should be its own thing and that's fair point. I don't think it's a valid argument though, just because I guess you can kind of compare it to LMS in a sense. You spawn with different stats and different items and you complete an objective in that mini game, which you do in LMS as well. And that has its own collection log items and again, it's not like this is gonna affect you in any way whatsoever. Nobody is mad about LMS collection log which has 32 slots. And if you don't like the quest speed running content, good, don't do it. If you do like it, good again, please do it. Nobody is ever gonna notice these changes if they did enter the game. For 99% of the players, it has no impact. And yet we have like a Reddit thread with 200 comments arguing if this is the right decision or not. These are the things we're arguing about, by the way, if you quit this game already, whether we get three collection log slots or not. I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just a dumb monkey with two symbols hitting between my ears. I don't want to blame the J-Mods as well. I feel like that is such a weak excuse at this point. Just pointing fingers at specific Jagex moderators. Like I saw this thread on Reddit about Mod Arcane and how the raids drops are, I guess, rigged because some people are doing solo raids and they're dry. And I was like, wait, what are you doing? Is this what's happening right now? We're just blaming individual JMods as scapegoats for something that the entire company should take responsibility on. And we have zero evidence, just like the public opinion. And everyone agrees that this specific person is responsible for all the bad things that are happening right now. And it has thousands of upvotes. I swear, some of you need help, man. These changes aren't something that one person has control over. I guess I'm gonna end with this. Please, let's start focusing on the main game and changes it so desperately needs. Whether it's bosses, minigame skills or whatever, because small, minuscule updates that please 1% of player base isn't the thing that's gonna save your game. Making new interesting stories however could be. Let's start with skills for example. Every time Jagex makes a bow on new skill, it's like what? 7 paragraphs long, 21 paragraphs of pictures, 8 million other stuff. I got lost there. My point is, nobody's gonna read that. I guarantee you people who voted no didn't even read half of what the skill was about. Even though for instance, sailing was an absolute banger idea. So why don't we start simple? Make it as clear as possible and be like, hey monkeys, here is a question for you. Do you want a new skill? Yes. No, but that's it. That's the only question in the ball boot and we start from that. If it doesn't pass 75% of votes, good. <laughs> we wait another three or four months and see if people are ready for a new skill then. And we ask the same exact questions again. Do you guys want a new skill? Now, three months later. And if we get 75% yes votes, a new skill will come, no matter what. And then we give three options. There isn't gonna be an option to vote no anymore, but rather, which of these three options would you like as a skill? And Jagex presents three things. The most voted one will be a new skill. It's bulletproof against idiots and people who spite votes. I guarantee you, we are at a point where 75% of the community would love to see a new skill in old Coronscape. I guess hindsight is 2020, but the closest we got was 68%. And that was a reach. It was never gonna pass the vote. Let's be honest, always gonna be some leech who only thinks for themselves and not the longevity of the game. Please, please, start expanding an MMO like it's supposed to be in the long run. New areas, new quests, new skills, new bosses. I mean, what the hell are we gonna do with this poison dynamite? It's meant for 10 HP accounts. Does 4 damage, that is the update in September. What is that? Okay, now that I think about it, it's probably gonna be useful. <laughs> but again, there is like, what, a thousand players who actually benefit from this? Maybe two thousand players, that's it. Like, please, we need to think bigger here. You've seen it from the past, bigger always works. Raids, leaks, new bosses, Seiya, finally at a point where it's presentable. 
And honestly, it's amazing. And those are the things that keep the game alive. Those are the things that actually bring in new players like we've seen. I know, I know, it's crazy to think we might get new amazing content in main game every month, even though this was the norm back in the day. In fact, we got something new every week, not just once a month. The year is getting close to an end, and so far there has been, what, two or three big updates this year that actually mattered? We gotta finally realize there is a monkey brain behind every vote. And if the brain has to read more than six words, it already might go into full error mode. We don't want that. So firstly, please check, start asking more simple questions that aren't like three paragraphs long. Nobody cares if you make a question that is entire paragraph long, only to say you want to add golden sink into the player own house. You don't have to bold that. Just put it in. Genuinely, from the bottom of your heart, Jagex moderators, do you think some of the player base understood this question? So like genuinely, because I guarantee you people vote yes or no without even thinking. Two things, please make the questions easier to understand so every little monkey can understand those. And secondly, stop polling so many useless questions that have zero impact on the game. Jimmy said it really well on one of his videos. I don't care if the wallpaper on someone's POH looks either brown or blue. Nobody cares, just add it in. I mean, if we're at a point where we have followed the riots because Michael's POH looks pink instead of blue, we already lost the game. There isn't gonna be any update in old school RuneScape where 100% of the players are happy. Just how it is, but if the game is gonna thrive, we need more concrete updates that benefit larger population of the player base. If that means not pulling some stuff, I am fine with that. And honestly, if putting in three extra collection log slots is such a massive deal breaker for you in terms of your quality of gameplay, maybe the problem wasn't those meaningless pixels in the first place. Maybe the problem was you. Thank you for watching.